Hello everybody for a, a really hot episode of Record Talk today. I'm here at the classic spot and I want to talk a little bit about uh, the record of the week and it is August the 10th and so I have to say it's really hotter than July. As last time I had a little quick uh, insight in this record already with the last song of this record, Happy Birthday. Um, I will conclude and finish now the, the rest of it because this week it is the record of the week, finally. So I had like two or three weeks going through Motown music. And by the way, this uh, record is also on the Motown label. It's from 1980, it's from Stevie Wonder and it's called Hotter Than July. So we're in August, it's suiting really good, it's suiting the mood of the day, I'm really hot. It's hot, like, it's hot. And it's literally the piano is on fire. You know, I'm loving it. As you can see, the piano is on fire and it's the cover it's looking like this and I'm gonna go through the the, the ten songs or the nine respectively because happy birthday I think I, I, I said enough enough already you know the thing in the school and that we celebrated to it maybe I add one thing what I just recognized it's it's the last, actually the last line, where he, the end of the record, more or less, if you want, where he just uh, is saying something like, and I read it now from the booklet, and it's, by the way, a beautiful um, done booklet with um, the way the lyrics are written in there, like, it's, it's, it's really cozy, funny, in some way, looking, because we have, like, here, um, background Stevie like this kind of things it's really cool I never saw that before in that way so let's start it off the 10 minutes that are left um, and I want to read this to you because it's really important for for the situation in the whole world right now and he wrote we know the key to unity of all people is in the dream that you had so long ago that lives in all of the hearts of people you know we people we know all what is good what is bad we all know that fucking sorry that racism is bad that those kind of things that weapons are bad we all know that we just have to remember that we have it you know it's it's in us from long ago we just have to remember to have the peace in the world all together so I carry on now that lives in all of the hearts of people it lives it lives everybody knows what's good or bad we just have to see it and recognize and allow ourselves to recognize that shit so next line that believe in unity so it lives in all of our hearts of those people that believe in unity. We have to believe in unity. Next line. We'll make the dream become a reality. I know we will. Because our hearts tell us so. It's like I just today I listened to what's also sitting, um, suiting to, to this hot thing today. It's Girl on Fire, you know, Alicia Keys. Where she sings like, listen to your heart. Uh -huh. You gotta listen to your heart, which also correlates really good uh, to that now. And I go now to the rest a little quick as always. At first, I think I know how he really meant it with the hot thing and with the sweating. You know, if, if you look at the artwork, you can see how he's sweating. But I think personally. His art, he didn't, maybe he didn't mean sweating, he meant crying, like tears. Because for me, it's, 
I interpret it now in that way because it's it's the record, the first record for a long time that really, really pushed the button to my tears because of its beauty, because of its genius. It's it's really extreme. It's it's soothing, like together, like the glove that got just sold. Like I, I wrote, uh, uh, I did Austrian trash paper, like here McDonald's has it and they, they sold, uh, I just got informed about that, that in the history tour he had this cloth and they did, he donated it sometime and now they sold it for a hundred something thousand. Yeah, so I wanted to just go through those songs, song one, uh, a few words just. Um, did I hear you say you love me? Is it, is it called and it's really princey? So for me it was like I did hear Prince or at least the other way around like that in Prince I hear Stevie but you know we are all a un unity, a big one collective, a big one world so for, to me it's the, a rock, rock and roll entry to this album it's really Prince-like yeah it's it's a it's a nice starter next song second one is all i do thinking about you and it's so this is you know i have four songs on this record you know i love it all but four that stand out for me personally it's the second one it's, it's the fourth one the there's a slight guitar in there in a way that i never heard it before it drove me to tears when i when I listen to this, it's been, yeah. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say um, anything more because I, it it says everything when I say it. It drove me to tears. Track four. So number six, Master Blaster. It's extreme reggae kind of funk, whatever uh, Stevie Genius thing, and. And it's and then the last track, Happy Birthday, which I have this personal, really deep connection because of the childhood, and because of, I didn't know who it was, and then I found that it's him and all this this kind of stuff. Track seven is interesting. It has a there's a Falco song, a Falco Austrian, famous musician from the 80s, 90s. That is one of the biggest pop artist of all time. They say you know there is no no such thing, but. Um, yeah, no answer is, is the thing I hear there. Then eight, the track number eight, Cash in Your Face, it has a really nice vibrato, you know, he's going really directly into the song with the singing, there's a, a cool vibrato, I like it a lot. And number nine, uh, I would say, I know, I know, I just finish and then I go. Ich, okay, ich weiß, ja, ja, uh, five, ten minutes, then I'm, I'm gone. Okay, five minutes. Yeah. Um, it's the same one as last time. I like him. So, Bosser, like number nine. The number, number nine, uh, track number nine, I would say it's called Lately. And I would say Lately I have to go because it's a little late today. It's, I was imagining this song would be also nice in a bossa nova setting. Just my imagination when I hear, did hear it, so this is what I wrote down. Then number three, track number three, Rocket Love. Really a funky kind of thing, you know. The bass line is extreme and I, I hear in the intro, like it's, it reminds me a little bit of Spain from Chick Corea. It's like a, a melting of Chick Corea and Daft Punk. In some way, it's, it's stuff punk uh, also in there. Like we're all big world, one unity. And he kind of uh, gave a little glimpse in 1980 what would come in 2005 or whatever, like with Daft Punk. And yeah, Master Blast, I already said, as if you read my mind, number five. Uh, I hear there is a Super Mario a game, uh, Nintendo 64 Super Mario game, one of the best games I ever played. And when, when there is this so-called, I don't know how they call it in English, but in, in German, you know, it's, the, it's a, a cap you get when you 
you you fly you have to look up you know there will come the light from the top in the hall in the entry hall of the castle and you will when you look up um, you know the curious uh, child who plays this will find out and you have to look up you have to open your mind and look up to what what we really are like we are a bigger thing not a white people back you know we are just one big thing a diverse thing everything is cool and, and cool and you have to look up open your head so if you look up you know you get to this special level where you then when you mastered it then you have these boxes in the whole gameplay where you just jump in the box and then you get this cap for like 30 seconds and in there you they always it, the music of the game changes like okay and the song from Stevie here did really remind me to that so what what is left yeah track two and I will conclude with that because I have to go now so thinking about you and what I want to say <laughs> yeah, you know I did listen to it and in the end uh, my god it's the voice the voice I know and uh, it's then I read it in the booklet and I, and, uh, I had the confirmation Michael Jackson is in there and there's another thing um, that that's uh, connecting to Michael it's uh, it's sounding a little bit like say 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 you know I, I like this song a lot more sorry Michael and Paul but this song here it's say 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 but on the next level I'm I'm sorry you two geniuses Paul and Michael again but it's just makes the say say thing a little more even more appealing to my ears and then it, it close it, it kind of de develops the lick in the end and the groove like into a really charming way like it doesn't go that rough like to the next but like because i love you baby no not here it's a little bit different but it's all I do is thinking about you. Oh my god, I, I cannot pick a favorite. I wouldn't. But those four I said before are kind of, you know, the four I, I would never. This would be the singles that I put out, let's say, like this. So, yeah. One little more thing I did get some. Um, I'm loving Motown. I did get some new song, uh, new CDs today. I traded it for for some jazz stuff, and you can see it in the background. It's one time the, the first uh, Janet album, and yeah, and the other two you maybe know because because they they are more famous. So I will, I'm really curious what's gonna come there whenever I have the feeling I'm gonna put that but for now I will stay a little at Motown next week you know I have fever fever mm -hmm. I have fever oh yeah baby you give me fever give me fever so I gotta go as they change to plastic, what I love. It's over. So goodbye, good night, ciao. I'm loving it.